Chem Hamaya Ki Che Beshbesh Bari Mat Ki Che. We go on with chapter 24 of Book 9 in the Srimad Devi Bhagavatam. Narada spoke. How did Narayana impregnate Tulsi? Kindly describe all this in detail. Narayana said, For accomplishing the ends of the Devas, Bhagavan Hari assumed the Vaishnavi Maya took the Kavacha from Lankachuda and assuming his form went to the home of Tulsi. Dundubi's celestial drums were sounded at her door, shouts of victory were proclaimed, and Tulsi was informed. The chaste Tulsi, hearing that sound, very gladly looked out on the royal road from the, from the kingdom. Then for auspicious observances, she offered riches to the Brahmins. Then she gave wealth to all the bards and to the beggars and other, um, other chants and hymns. That time, Bhagavan Narayan alighted from his chariot and went to the house of Tulsi Devi, built of invaluable gems, looking exceedingly artistic and beautiful. Seeing her dear husband before her, she became very glad and washed his feet and shed tears of joy and bowed down to him. Then she, impelled by love, made him take his seat on the beautiful jewel throne and giving him sweet scented beetles with camphor, began to say, today my life has been crowned with success for I am seeing again my Lord returned from the battle. Then the cast smiling, then she cast smiling glances askance at him, and with her body filled with rapturous joy, lovingly asked him the news of the war in sweet words. O thou, the ocean of mercy, now tell me of your heroic valor, how you have come out of victorious in war with Mahadeva, Lord Shiva, who destroys countless universes. Hearing Tulsi's words, the Lord of Lakshmi in the guise of Sankachuda spoke these nectar-like words with a smiling countenance. Oh dear, full one, full one samvartapsara, the war lasted betwixt us. All the demons were killed. Then Brahma himself came and mediated. Peace then was brought about, and by the command of Brahma, I gave over the devas their rights. When I returned to my home, Shiva went back to his Shiva Loka. Thus saying, Hari, the lord of the world, slept and then engaged in sexual intercourse with Tulsi. But the chaste Tulsi, finding this time her experience quite different from what she used to enjoy before, argued all the time within herself and at last questioned him. Who are you, O magician? By spreading your magic, you have enjoyed me. As you have taken my chastity, I will curse you. Bhagavan Narayan, hearing Tulsi's words and being afraid of the curse, assumed his real beautiful figure. The Devi then saw the eternal lord of the Devas before her. He was of deep blue color like fresh rain clouds and with eyes like autumnal lotuses and with playful Lila's equivalent to tens and tens of millions of love personified and adored with jewels and ornaments. His face was smiling and gracious and he wore his yellow color robe. The love struck in Tulsi, seeing that lovely form of Vasudeva, immediately fell senseless and at the next moment, regaining consciousness, she began to speak. O oh Lord, thou art like a stone, thou hast no mercy, by hypocrisy, thou hast destroyed my chastity, my virtue, and for that reason, didst kill my husband. O Lord, thou hast no mercy. Thy heart is like a stone. So let thee be turned into a stone. Those who declare thee as a saint are no doubt mistaken. Why didst thou, for the sake of others, kill without any fault another bhakta, bhakta of thine? Thus speaking, Tulsi, overpowered with grief and sorrow, cried aloud and repeatedly gave vent to her lamentations. 
Seeing her thus very distressed, Narayana, the ocean of mercy, spoke to her to cheer her up according to the rules of dharma. O oh, honored one, for a long time you performed tapasya in the Bharata to get me. Sankachuta, too, performed tapasya for a long time to get you. By that tapasya, Sankachuta got you as his wife. Now it is highly incumbent to award you also with the fruit that you asked for. Therefore, I have done this. Now quit your this terrestrial body and assume a divine body and marry me, O Rama, be my Lakshmi. This body of yours will be known by the name of Gandaki, a famous which was pure and stream in this holy land of Bharata. Your hairs will be turned into sacred trees and they will be born of you. You will be known by the name of Tulsi. All the three worlds will perform their pujas with the leaves and flowers of the Tulsi. Therefore, O fair-faced one, the Tulsi will be reckoned as the chief amongst all the flowers and leaves in heaven, earth, and the other regions. And before me, O fair one, you will regain remain as the chief amongst trees and flowers in the regions of Golaka, on the banks of the river Viraja, in the Rasa Circle, the celestial ball dance, where all amorous sentiments are laid at in Vrindavan forest, in Bandiri forest, in Kampaka forest, in the beautiful sandalwood forest and in the groves of Kunda, Malika, and Malati, in the sacred places you will live and bestow the highest religious merit. All the Tirthas will reside at the bottom of the Tulsi tree, and so religious merits will occur to all. O fair-faced one, there I and all the Devas will wait in expectation of the following of the Tulsi leaves. Anybody who will be initiated and installed with the Tulsi leaves water will get all the fruits of being initiated in all the sacrifices. Whatever pleasures Hari gets when thousands and thousands of jars filled with water are offered to him, the same pleasure he will get when one Tulsi leaf will be offered to him. Whatever fruits are acquired by giving Uta cows as presents, those will be also acquired by giving Tulsi leaves, especially if one can give Tulsi leaves in the month of Kartika, one gets the fruits same as above mentioned. Jay Mahamaya Ki Jay Bule Baba Ki Jay.